get into the video please do not forget to subscribe Sh um, like this video comment down below what go um whatever you want to comment okay just happy new year just comment down below happy new year happy new year okay yeah because this is january is a season of telling everyone happy new year happy new year happy new year yeah so this video i'm going to be practically telling you guys about my goals um a back a little i'll take you back 2018 and 2019 2018 2019 and 2020 some of the few things that i have learned you know actually from 2000 to 20 to 2020 those are two decades like okay let's say from 2010 to so we have started a new decade so um i'm really excited for this new start as in this new year because it's the start of a new decade it's the start of um if you haven't done anything in that 10 years this is the time to start it now like start it today so let me just take you back to 20 2018 um 2018 i actually learned about vision boards so i decided to test it out and um in 2019 i did a vision board in 2018 for 2019 and here it is so this that is my vision board that i did for 2019 on the vision board i had um from here you can see it's a camera and it's written discovery discover so that actually my my youtube channel before i named it light of adventures was called discovery d um so that's why it's written here discover because I, I needed something that represented who i am but i discovered have you seen what i've done there i discovered i discovered okay so um so i discovered that um picking a name is just people do it randomly but i wanted something meaningful so discovery ds it was but i wasn't feeling it so i changed it to light of adventures um then i did a vision board for you can see two girls holding each other here um that i represented it as um making meaningful friendships and the ones that last and i actually did make some few like example hi laura yeah i think it was yeah in 2019 i met laura and uh, she's been an amazing friend um yeah so that was part of my goal and i got it um so i wanted a new phone um uh, and i represented it here as an iphone and i actually did get one um down here i put god here i wanted to be close to god pray more and read my bible more but I did it for some while it was on and off I, anyway that's a whole other topic I'll talk about next time um, here you can see chef Ali over here. Here, 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 here I wanted to do more recipes and create my own recipes and um, cook more 
so that's why I represented and I actually did start that year and I've been writing and I've been doing some recipes here in the house experimenting I wanted to leave my comfort zone and just try and push myself as much as possible I wanted money I wanted to be healthy to exercise more I wanted a car a lot of things here I just wanted a lot of things and most of them came to pass so I was really really excited that in 2018 I did a vision board and actually some of the things came to pass and I was actually ticking from my vision board um, once it came to pass come 2020 now I was supposed to do a vision board um, 2019 for 2020 but Towards the end of the year, um, I think I was either praying or I don't know what I was doing, but my spirit told me that there's a, you know, there's a voice inside you, especially for those who know the Holy Spirit talks to you, you know, so I felt like the Holy Spirit just told me, I didn't, just talked to me and told me, let God, like, just the year do not plan for anything. I entered the year without planning for nothing. I entered the year just letting, like, let it flow. Like me, I'll just go with the flow. That's how I started my year. I did not create a vision board. I did not do anything. I just let the year just, I just let it go. Like, I let God, like, let go and let God, you know, something. Yeah, let go, let God. So I entered 2020. I did not put any plans for myself. I did not as in I just went with the year and I just let let go practically that's it I just entered 2020 like that um so after that um I quit my job because I thought um I wanted to create content I wanted to do so many other things but I felt that if I'm at work I'm in school I won't be able to do some of the things that I'm doing right now so I quit my job um, after quitting my job um, I went to school I was in school then coronavirus happened then we had to come back home so during that period is when I created my YouTube channel um, during that period I there are some few videos you can go check them out that I actually did and I'm very proud that even though there were not many but I started I really started and I'm so happy that I'm creating content and I still create content with the few followers I have. Um, I actually had a lot of fear when when it came to creating content and um, starting my YouTube channel but I thank God that um, I've been able to work on that. Um, yeah, so practically my YouTube channel came out during the coronavirus. Apart from uh, apart from that, what else happened? Um, a lot of things happened. Um, in school, there's a, there were a lot of changes um, personally that I made towards school. Um, I pushed myself. Imagine I have never joined a competition like at it to run for. It was called Fletna Flet. Um, I actually pushed myself and joined a competition. For those who follow me in on on Instagram, you know about the flattener face um, thing, um, and I'm so proud of where I reached. Though I did not move that far, I did not make it to the final list. Um, but I thank God that I moved, I pushed myself, and I made it to where I did. Um, yeah, so 2020 was very interesting. Uh, 2020 I healed old wounds actually I, I believe 2020 was a year of for me personally was to work on myself to just slow down like sometimes you know in life you, you want this you want this you want that you want this like that it was just a year for me to slow down and to work on myself um, and I thank God I did because I, I was able to heal some wounds that were really really painful that happened to me um forgive myself for past mistakes um what else look and achieve higher i was actually I actually discovered that i can actually do 
more than I I think I can and it's because I just put a limit to myself and yeah um during the covid I learned so many things like okay some of them are so personal I'm um, like family yeah so I learned so much that I just thank God. I really do thank God. And um yeah, so that was my 2020 2020 highlights some of them. But for 2021, there are three things that I want to work on. Consistency, communication, and what was the other one? So consistency, communication, and um, it's gone now, giving. I want to give more. Um, I want to give more, and I'll talk about that later on, what I mean by giving. Um, my communication has been terrible for the past few years. Um, I want to communicate better with my friends, my family i want to work on it i want to gain confidence while communicating though sometimes i believe i i have um a learning disorder but that one is yet to be discovered yet i'm still trying to because i think i do have one of the I, i think there's dyslexia there's another one i'm still trying to learn i think there's a i'm thinking though there's no um I haven't gone to a doctor yet, but I'm planning to to check if I have one of those learning disorders. Yeah, so that's that's part of my communication. I want to learn if there's a problem, um, and also to better my communication. Um, what else? Um, consistent consistency in my YouTube channel. I think um, uh, my nose has blocked. Consistency, consistency in my YouTube channel. Um, not only in my YouTube channel, but in life, in everything that I do, I want to stay consistent. Um, so yeah, those are just. I want to give myself just very few things that I can um, deal with at a time. So this is just those three things: giving, communication, and cons- consistency. Those are the three things that I want to work on this year Hiya. um by the way don't forget to subscribe like this video and tell me what's your goal be practically that's it imagine just three goals that's it yeah so consistent in everything that i do whether in school um whether with my youtube channel whether it's a business anything that i do i want to stay consistent consistent in prayer consistent in um in doing my work in reading consistent in reading books consistent i just want to learn how to stay consistent and to persevere through all that consistency my third goal is to work on my communication i tend to have um a terrible communication but i want to work on it this year like with my friends with my parents with my with my siblings with strangers i want to better my communication and with that in communication it's a it's a very wide thing um i want to network more this year i want to um what is it called? I want to go to a specialist to um, I've always suspected that I have a, it's called it again um, it's not a speech but it's a learning disorder I've always suspected I have a certain learning disorder but I haven't been diagnosed yet so I want to see a specialist so that if, if it's so what I suspect um see what to do if it's reading more books if it's going for therapy i don't know but i really do want to get an answer to it though um for those who don't know what the learning disorders are it's like uh, 
dyslexia dyslexia um there's so many there's so many so you can go google um or ask siri just ask siri or ask google assistant i don't know her name <laughs> yeah so um that is part of my communication what i want to achieve i want to uh, better my communication um yes uh another thing is i want to give i want to give more i have the heart of giving i've always had um i've always loved to give people what the little that i have but i've noticed for the past few years i there's something that took me a little bit back and i started uh not giving too much no, i don't know i just stopped giving and um i worked on why i stopped giving i know now what made me stop giving but now i've healed from it so um i want to give more this year um the little that i have in terms of giving my time um if it's food to the needy if it's um clothes to the needy as well if it's helping somebody i don't know in any way of giving you know giving just does not require just money giving your time giving your space you know so i want to give more yeah so those are the three things i want to work on this 2021 yeah so those are my three goals for 2021 i hope that i will accomplish it and if you want to see the journey just go to my instagram page diana dory and you'll find me there and another goal so okay those are the three major like those are the major goals now um another one but i don't put it that's my plan okay i don't know how to put it but those are my major goals. Um, those three. Um, the the next one is I don't know if I should tell you now or I'll tell you. No, that one. Let me keep it. Let me keep it because it's something. Let me first sort out some few things, and then once it's ready, I'll I'll share it with you in my next video. So I have very. I have a lot of interesting videos this hey like this year i just i told you guys that 2020 is a yeah we shall travel we will go explore this nairobi hey i will be your plug to places to eateries to uh, you just name it you just tell me where you want me to go try which food and i will go i will make time also get money because this traveling and eating around is not cheap so i will most definitely um when you if you comment down below i will put it in my diary and i will try and make it to go there um another thing um two small small goals i want to go for makeup classes hopefully i want to um, what else what else what else like this year is just i think those are the three most important things that i want to do and some other few things of which i have already planned for and um so yeah practically that's it this year you'll just be seeing me traveling traveling doing challenges doing the most like this year is just going to be doing the most and um oh and another thing um i told you it is consistency um giving and um, communication so actually there were three c's and now it's the time i have remembered creativity i have been oh, i've always been that creative person um in school i was in the drama club i was in the drama club i was always the fun like okay not the funniest but i was um the cheeky girl in the class who used to do a lot of dramas dancing for people creating content like i used to be the art i used to draw i was actually i can cal calligraphy i was there yeah i was just that act 
creative person and I've always have that I've always had the creativeness in me so I want to explore more learn more in and and nurture that creative part of myself so yeah that's that's practically it for for 2021 creativity communication consistency and giving those are the four things that I want to achieve by the end of the year and yeah so another thing okay so one minute bear a vision board um that one i won't put it on youtube channel because i don't want this video to be so long and i'll also work i'll work on making my videos very short um yeah so please tell me what are your goals for this year i have already told you mine uh, create a vision board if you need if need be and um yeah so don't forget to subscribe like this video comment down below um and catch every thursdays i'll be uploading a video every thursday not unless i am sick not unless something has happened like kplc uh not unless what has happened yeah maybe if the video has an error or i've deleted i haven't got got for me um yeah so till next time guys adios